My name is Camilo and today I will be showing you the new Plex app for the 2015 Apple TV. As you can see, I have already placed my app on the top shelf. I chose to do so because uh, it will automatically display contents from within the app without having to open it. Uh, I can click on that and continue watching my TV show. If you choose to, you can place it anywhere on the Apple TV menu. As we go into the app, you see all the artwork uh, that was downloaded by Plex. For now, I, have, I only have two categories, TV shows and movies. You're not limited to that. You can add uh, as many categories as you want and uh, they will show up in here. As you see, Plex keeps the same uh, theme throughout the whole program. It looks more like any of the other Apple TV programs. So, Scroll through the menus, you can see that all the different categories you can browse. However, once you go into the TV shows or movie folder, you cannot search. You have to either organize it by letter or genre or something else. Uh, same goes for the movie folder, you cannot search. You have to organize it. If you do want to use the search feature, you have to go into the main menu of the Plex app. You can browse by folders. So if you have more than one file for the movie or TV show, then you can choose. These are different categories you can search by or organize by director, by year. You can have your channels up here, settings. This is the search function. It will search your whole database. I did notice that I will not display anything unless you have three or more characters typed in. As you can see, it displayed my movies and TV shows. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. The last one uh, showed up because of the artist. The uh, actor's name started with an AME. So you can choose your servers if you have more than one. Uh, keep that in mind. You can add a medical sign in or choose a PIN number. You can also change the video quality to whatever you want. I have unlimited. If it works for me. If it doesn't for work for you, you can change that. Uh, you can also direct play. Or airplay from another app from your phone too. Once you enter a movie, you can see the the actors, and you can search other movies based uh, on those actors. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you have Rotten Tomatoes reviews here and descriptions. Integrate it into the app. Uh, you can adjust settings within the movie as far as uh, subtitles or quality or choosing a different audio stream.
So if you have a different language, you can change, you can choose that. Here we are in the recently added movie. So as you can notice at the bottom, it had related movies. I'm assuming that's because of the actors, maybe. I did have some issues with the subtitles. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the Plex app or I just have really bad subtitles. So. Let's try this. Same thing for the rest of the movies. You can always change the settings, subtitles, or audio quality. I believe these are subtitles that I downloaded somewhere. Did not work for me. As you can see, they're off. Uh, if you press, if you slide down, you can see more info and uh, you can change the audio also. All right, let's try it again without without the subtitles. You can also play trailers if you're uh, if you have the Plex Pass. As you can see, it displays all your contents without even opening the app, so that's pretty cool. Let's try this. It's pretty easy to fast forward with the slider. You just got to be careful not to go too fast. With the Siri integrated into a remote, you can also pretty much give it any command. When you do say what did he say, it will, it's supposed to rewind about 30 seconds and turn on the subtitles. But as you guys know, I had issues with the subtitles, so it's not working right now. Fast forward 10 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever you choose, and it will do so. Also, if you slide down, you can see all the different options. Reduce loud sound if you're watching the movie at nighttime. The one thing that I want to see is uh, universal search. Just like the Netflix app, it's integrated with the, the Siri remote. Uh, over here, we have different chapters with the names. If you click on one of those, it will automatically take you to that section of the movie. So I think this is pretty cool. That is my hands on on the new Plex app. So please, if you guys have any questions or any comments, please do so below. Thank you for watching.